So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create state traits in Victoria 3. Now, what is a state trait? Well, one of the most common ones is the malaria trait in Africa. Now, obviously that's a negative state trait. You can also have positive ones, but today we're gonna to be showing you how to make your very own. So the very first thing you need to do is create a mod. And you do that by going to your Paradox Launcher, going to All Install Mods, then going to Mod Tools. And then in here, you can put the name of your mod. Now, I'm just going to call this Zy6 Tutorial Mod, but obviously you can call your mod wherever you want. Or if you already have a mod, you can add like state traits to that mod. And then once you've done that, you then need to go to your Documents folder, Paradox Interactive, and then Victoria 3, like you can see up here. And then you go to Mod. And then you double click on the mod you just created and you should have this folder now this metadata just leave that file alone that's just there so the game can read the mod now in your mod you're going to need a few folders so you're going to need the common folder you're going to need the gfx folder and you will need the localization folder and then the last folder we need in here is map underscore data now you need to also get the games folder up. So if you look on the right here, we have the Victoria free folder up. If you have the game on Steam, that will be in your Steam maps. If you have it on another platform, then just Google where your file location is. So once we're in here, we need to go into map data and then obviously do the same on our mod as well. So our mods on the left here, this is the game folders on the right. Now, super important, make sure you don't edit any files in the actual games folders. And then you will see that we need a folder called state regions. So once in your map data folder, create a folder called state regions like that, then go into that folder, do the same in the game. And then you need to copy the file of where your country is located. So we will copy the North African one for now. And then if we open that file, you know, we'll just take a look in here and I'll just show you basically what all this is about. Now within these files, this is where you can edit things like arable land, uh, what mines you have there. So if you have like gold mines, iron mines, and you can also edit, you know, the type of plantations you have. So if you see here, we have cotton, opium, tobacco, sugar. So this arable land here, this is basically how many sulfur mines I can have or logging camps I can have. So it's just basically how much build space I have, you know, for my uh, mines and plantations. So you can edit this if you want, like you can put whatever number you want in there. And then for your capped resources, this is the maximum amount of like mines and logging camps. So you can put this up and and obviously you can go up to the number of your arable land, right? But you can't go over that. It just means say if I built 250 sulfur mines there, I wouldn't be able to have anything else because that would take up that number there. Then up here is your subsistence buildings. So basically that's what your peasants work on. And um, when they don't have jobs, you can have farms or pastures. You know, there's a few others like look in the other files if you want to know what options you have there. Now, if you're going to edit the provinces, then obviously make sure you also edit them in the history folder. I'm not going to be going into that today, but you're, you know, that's something that you have to bear in mind. But the thing I am going to be showing you today is traits. So you can see traits here, and this is your state traits. But this is the state trait that will be part of all these provinces. Um, so obviously in this state. So once you've actually created your trait, this is where you will come to add it to your states. So then you want to go into the common folder of your mod and the game, and you want to go to state traits. Now this is where all the traits are located, you know, for each different country. Now obviously within your common folder, you have to create another folder called state traits. We basically just have to make sure these all match. Yeah, so look, common state traits, common state traits. So we can just copy this generic state traits file, uh, paste that in there, and then we can rename it. So we could just call it my state traits. But obviously you can call this, you know, whatever you want. Now if we go into that folder we just copied, you can see that they have all the different types of traits here. Now, obviously you can use the traits in any of these files for any of your states is I just quickly show you how to do that in case um, you just want to copy your trait. So if you go back into the state traits folder, you know, I was saying about this is where your trait is. You see this name here, state trait null river. That will just be whatever this name is up here. So state trait malaria. Yeah. And so on. Now you can have more than one. Now, whether there's like a max on that, um, I'm not too sure, but just play around with it, you know, and just see what you can do. But then to create our own trait, we just want to uh, delete these. And then we don't need this bracket here. So we just have to make sure our brackets are always closing. So if you see that's closing that bracket off there, that's super important, otherwise it won't work. And then in the top here, this is what your trait will be called. So uh, you can pretty much put any name in here. Just try and keep it state trait and then something. So whatever you want to call your trait. And this icon here, this is basically the picture, right? So, you know, when you go to the malaria trait, you have that like little picture. This is where that is located. 
But if you just keep everything the same name, so you see I've called this Zysix here, if I just put this as Zysix here, then once I create my picture, then obviously it will pull that from the file. But one thing to remember is, you know, don't put capitals or if you do put capitals, everything has to match, right? So if your picture has a capital at the start, then this has to have a capital. Now to get ideas for your trait, you can always look through all these other traits and you can just look at modifiers. And then obviously, as you see here, we have disabling technologies. Now, as you know, the malaria trait, if you get the quinine trait, then that will disable basically the effect of the malaria so you can put any technology in here that you you know you actually need to research and obviously you can create your own technology if you know how to do that and then you can sort of add that technology to your trade but i'm just going to create something basic so i'm just going to go for the state infrastructure add just so it adds infrastructure to our state and then i'm going to just up that to say 50 and then i'll also add a boost for the coal mines within their state so now we've done that we just need to save that and then close that and then that is basically the perks of our trait created. So we can exit out of that. And then the next thing we need to do is go to our Africa one. Say we're going to do Egypt. But obviously, you will do whatever state that you have. And we're going to copy that trait name there. And we're going to put it into here like this. And then that will be in lower Egypt. And we'll also add it to say upper Egypt. And then if you remember, we added a boost for the coal mines. So we're going to add some coal mines. So if I just copy this bit of code here from another file, you know, I can just put it in one of these. I can add it on to this or I can just take over one of them. Then I can put that up to say 80 and that means we have 80 coal mines. And then we're gonna add coal mines onto this one as well. And then once that's all done, I'm obviously gonna save that. And then the next thing we need to do is create an icon for it. So if we go to the GFX folder, we then need to create a folder called interface. And then once we get into the interface folder, we need a folder called icons. Now it's always best to copy and paste the names, you know, just in case you make a spelling mistake. Now you go into icons, and then if you scroll down, we want state trait icons. So we're gonna create that folder as well. So it should be GFX interface icons state trait icons. If we go into that folder, now most image editors won't be able to read a DDS file. So I'm going to show you how to um, convert it. But what we're going to do for the time being, we're just going to copy one of the images in that file and paste it into here. Then we're going to name this what our trait was. So if you remember, we created the name of our trait. It was state trait and then whatever your name was. That's where you have to put the name in there. So, you know, I called mine state trait Zy6. I'm just going to put Zy6 in there. Obviously, you put whatever name you created. Then we're going to go to Google and go to DDS to PNG converter. Click on that. Go to our actual image file that we just named. Uh, we're going to open that in there and convert it and then as you see down here this is the file as a pgn so now you can open that with your image editor and then you can put in your image and i'm going to drag in just a random image that i have here and if i was going to use an actual trait i would obviously take more time picking my image and i'll get something a little bit better but once you've got your image you can delete the, the other image and then we just need to save that so now we need to do the opposite right we need to convert that png back to a dds file so we just do that by by googling again png to dds picking our image and then converting it and then there we have the dds file so we can delete the pgn now we don't need that go back to our icons folder so that's in gfx interface icon state trait icons then you see we have the old one here we can erase that and we can just copy our new one into there so that will be our new icon for our new trait and then the very last thing we need to do is create the localization file so that will name it in game so you need to go into localization then obviously whatever language you speak. So I'll obviously put English and then go to English. And then we need a folder in here called map, like it's in here. Then we need to go in both of those folders and we need to copy state traits. And here we can just rename this, right? So I can just put my state traits. Obviously, you know, rename it to whatever you want. I would just make sure you name it, um, you know, something that's gonna correlate to what you're actually doing. So you just remember what it is. Now what we wanna do here is pretty much just delete all of these apart from the top one yeah just leave the top one in there and then we can change this to the name of our trait so what so whatever you called your trait this is where you will put the name make sure you have the underscores of course and then in the brackets you can you know name your trait whatever you need to name it but we're just going to call it my modded trait and then we're going to save that and then that is our trait created you then need to go to playsets and obviously create a playset add in your mod then make sure your playset is selected here and then play and then if we start as Egypt, because obviously that's where we put our trait, and then go to Upper Egypt, you'll see there is our trait. And we get the plus 50 infrastructure and the plus 50% on coal mines. Now, obviously, if you want to add this to all your states, 
you just have to do that in that file that I was showing you earlier. And then if we see, if you look in here, we've got the coal mines that we added. So there's the 80 coal mines. And then we got the extra arable land that we added in. If you enjoyed the video, then please hit the like button. If you want more of these, then please hit the subscribe button. But thanks for watching and until next time.